Hello everyone and welcome to iOpenTCGs, the channel where I open TCGs. And today we are back at it at the Sorcery Contested Realm Grind. This is the first box of our fifth case of Sorcery Contested Realm. And if you haven't seen any of my videos, I really suggest watching case three and then watching case four to get the full story. Um, right now, as I'm recording this, I am just starting to upload case three. And I know a few of y'all are freaking out. And oh, I just hit my camera. All right, sorry about that. I hit my camera while opening the case, but uh, I was saying there's a lot of people freaking out a little bit um, about my good luck. And I really hope you end up watching case four. Um, now, I don't know the full value of that case since I haven't uploaded it yet, but yeah, yeah. So let's say we're back at it, season five. Now, the goal of this season, sorry, <laughs> sorry, case five, uh, season two, um, the goal of these openings is to open a step curio card. It has been a long time since I've opened a curio at all, let alone uh, on camera. And the goal of this series is to open uh, for EV. All right. And now I've just kind of got done opening a lot of flesh and blood, so... I got to get back into the rhythm of sorcery, but I did bust out the Donnie Brook in playmat. I did have to buy one, um, but after using it at the uh, local game store, it's just so nice. I did. You know, I had, I had to get one. Um, but uh, yeah, so far on YouTube, I, as I said, I had four cases. It kind of has gone up and down. First one was good. Second one was meh. Third one was insane. Second one was not very good. Or sorry, fourth one. I'm just so excited to open Sorcerer again. I can't even talk. I can't even talk. Um, but anyways, so in my superstitious brain, this fifth case has got to be good again, right? Uh, but I kind of doubt it. So, <laughs> um, but uh, we're starting off with our first uh, unique, almost a majestic. Sheesh, got that flesh and blood in my brain. We got the Atlantean Fate. Um, at this point, ew, no. Should I just not open the rest of these boxes? <sighs> All right. You know, only ones appeared so far, so that. I can't be mad yet, um, but uh, yeah, if, you, if you've if you seen any of our episodes, you know that the FFM is a sign of, uh, is a sign of pain. Um, I now regret everything. I regret everything. I, I want my money back. Oh, God. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't, I was about to say, I don't think it's really a great time to be opening for EV because... It's getting pretty hard to sell cards. Um, I think it's we're going to need uh, news about the next set or a lot of these tournaments need to start happening to get maybe new people um, interested in the game again. But there really doesn't seem to be too many new people getting into Sorcerer anymore, which is a shame, you know, because it's actually really fun. The artwork is so good. Every time I, um, ooh, Grand Wizard. Oh, I, I did want to say um, I am going to change the way that I do the values. Um, I used to do all the foils and all the uniques. I'm not going to change it to only include cards over $5. I'm still not going to include the elites just because it's much easier for me when editing because um, I stop and stuff for the foils. easier for me to notice that. But especially since I'm opening for EV, I'm, I'm really not selling those, those cards that are worth um, that low anyways. So it's going to make it much harder to, well, maybe not much harder, but a little bit harder to hit the EV mark, uh, EV mark, but yes, I did just get back uh, from walking my dog. So I'm a little out of breath. So I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, 
hopefully you're enjoying the journey. I know it's been a lot, um, a lot of openings. They might, they probably get real samey, but there's a few of you that are kind of continuing to watch. And I really, really, really appreciate that. Um, cause the whole goal of the channel originally was for you to experience my highs and experience my lows. Um, really it was for the lows part. Um, I think that might even be in my very first flesh and blood video, which was, I was having such an awful, awful opening experience. I was like, you know what? I want to record this so that people can see how bad it is. Um, and weirdly, I think my luck is much, much better on camera than off camera. Obviously I've had, uh, uh, what effectively is a God case, not the godliest of all God cases, but I mean, it's like comparing a 0.1% case to a 0.0001% case. Um, but interesting. Okay. We got ourselves a sneak thief foil. These used to be so hard to find. I think people were buying them at like 80 to a hundred dollars each. And now that I think they're like $10 each, um, I should have sold my extras when I had the chance, but either way, not a bad foil, um, price wise. And also a beautiful one. I really like the foiling on this little window that this guy's, uh, jumping out of after murdering your whole family and killing your babies. But that's two foils down. It's good to see the sneak thief again. I, that kind of points to me that this is a quote unquote back half. And what do we have here? Very flamey looking one. Is, is it just wall of fire again? It is just wall of fire again. Okay. Um, well, we got ourselves a wall of fire foil. But again, when we see new foils, I, I don't even know if I've ever opened a wall of fire foil uh, on camera. Um, so this is again, good proof that we are in maybe the back half. We're getting some foils and cards, some groupings that we're not used to which is good because that FFM, that Felbog Frogman scared the living shit out of me. All right. We want to stay away from that grouping of foils. It is absolutely atrocious. But uh, maybe the, the Donnybrook uh, Matt will give us some good luck. I'm trying to track down, since I am recording a lot more videos, I really don't know if I will open much sorcery after this since it's getting harder to sell, but I do want to get the, um, the mirror realm play mat. I really should have bought it when it was low at like 140. I almost bought one, but I was like, Oh, maybe, maybe I should wait. Um, Ooh, this one's a, okay. Flood plane. I don't know. Dual land runes. It could be anything. Ooh, it's a lighthouse. Okay, so it was a dual land. So I will absolutely take that dual land. Gosh, going from the flesh and blood foils to uh, to sorcery is just crazy. Um, I do wonder if they're going to keep with this because um, I know they've talked about maybe a smaller set as kind of a supplemental, tiny supplemental thing to, to, to keep your appetite satiated. Like how are they going to do foils with that? You know? So I, I kind of wish they, they, um, Ooh, uh, there was a, a new texture for the foils. What I'm trying to say, but this one, I don't know what this is. Wicked witch. Ooh, a summoning sphere. Okay. Okay. I think this is another foil. Ooh, it's got some lines in it though. Um, another foil that is a pretty good one. Sun Summoning Sphere is used quite a lot right now anyways. There's a big old, I don't know if you can see it, but um, I actually tried to sell some of the uh, smokestack, smokestacks of Nyak foils. And, um, but I noticed that they had insane scratches on it. Like an insane amount of scratches. Um, we got the orb of Balbarenth. Nothing to write home about there. So definitely th that sheet or something just got wrecked in uh, in processing, which sucks. But uh, 
But yeah, when people are getting like, um, ooh, okay, let's fucking go. We got ourselves a mirror realm. Again, really one of my favorite art, art, maybe my the favorite art in this set and worth quite a bit. I will absolutely take that. Um, uh, and that mirror realm just, I don't know, know what I was going to say. Drums of doom. No, it's the gnomes. Okay. We're, we're back in the scary, the scary, uh, portion of the foils. Yep. We are back, but it's okay. It's okay. We still have, uh, three foils left and four non foil uniques left. So got plenty of time to see that naked man. But again, the whole goal of this series, honestly, is to open any curio. But specifically the step one, I, I honestly have been staying away from saying how much I've opened. But uh, I think at this point, it's been over 90 boxes since I've opened a curio, which I know is like, well, some people never get one. And I agree. I agree. I know I am uh, spoiled, but. All I'm saying is I'm due for one or two, you know, I'm due for one or two. And I want to do it on camera. And I want it to be a good one. All right. I don't want it to be one of those like it's just a tiny bit different ones. Because I have one of those already. Again, spoiledy, spoiledy. Uh, I am going to go. I did register. Um, I probably should like actually play some games, but I am going to go to the um, big tournament in uh, Denton, Texas. The March of the Machines, I think is what it's called. Um, I can't wait to lose uh, every single round and then hopefully never play on stream because I would be so nervous because uh, I every time I play, I have to like ask for like, is that how you do it? Can I do this? Um, not not great on stream, I think, but it would be nice to have a, a, like a really knowledgeable judge that you can just call at any time. But we got the last pack of the second third here. See if it's gonna give me anything. No, all right. We still have three foils and four non-foil uniques left to go plenty of time and we got ourselves one of those four the color out of space nice now it's not worth a lot but i am looking for the great old ones because i am trying to i do have a, a lot of play sets like full entire game play sets that i'm trying to sell um and i just need a couple like five more majestics to to, to make like uh, another copy of one. And we got ourselves Kythera Mechanism. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, so we're looking out for the great old one. There's a couple other ones that I need. But. Uh, oh, no. Oh, I fat finger that one so badly. So hopefully we can get at least a set of those in this case. But we shall see. Sisters of Silence. We got Riptide. For some reason, I just... My mind wandered and I switched into uh, Flesh and Blood mode. We got that Lucky Charm. The Hydra. As long as we don't get a Lucky Charm foil, we don't want to go there. We don't want to go into that place. Oh, I guess this is weird. I, I normally don't start on the left side, and it just occurred to me that I I did start on the left side for this. The flesh and blood, man. Confusing my whole body. All right, seven packs to go, and we have uh, seven. Well, not seven, sorry. Two, five more goodies to get. So far, we haven't had a, a, a boom yet. See if we can get one. We do have the Sisters of Silence. This is a elite foil that I get quite a bit. 
Great looking foil though. Great looking foil. So we have two more foils, two more non-foils. We really want to see a core or a stone here to get that value up. And we got ourselves a constrictor, a trin constrictor. Okay, this is one, again, I don't see too often, so at least I like to see that. I'm being called by somebody. Whoopsie poops. Hopefully. And then by touching that, my whole phone moved. All right. This is a, this is all awful. Um, so let's hurry this, this opening up. We got ourselves the wave shaper as our last foil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Our last foil was the wave shaper. So no foil uniques there. And, oh, okay, if you're going to get a dupe and it's not a core or stone, the Mirror Realm is one to get. All right. One more after this. Three more packs. Come on, core. Come on, stone here. Oh, okay, we got the Cortesian Thighs as our last non-foil unique. Okay, I think the EVs, obviously you can see it, um, is not the worst because we did get some tens in, um, in the mirror realms. I think the lighthouse, I'm not entirely sure where that runs. Probably only 20, $30, but that's still decent. So honestly, without a stone or a core, I, I feel like this box was actually not, was actually pretty good. I shouldn't say not bad. I should actually say pretty good. But seeing that that Felbog Frogman first, I thought it could go worse. I'm happy it didn't. But there we go. All right, let's do a little quick little recap here. We got the Wave Shaper Ordinary. Um the Wall of Fire, the Felbog Frogman, so three Ordinaries, the Constrictor, the Nyan 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 Gnomes, Summoning Sphere, the Lighthouse, and then, of course, the Sneak Thief and the Sisters of Violence. And then the two Mirror Realms here were also really big. That is going to be it for uh, box number one of case five. Um, man, it feels weird to open Sorcery after quite a long time um and yeah it's really fun hope you're still enjoying it i'm blathering now so i'll see you in the next one bye